Hello friends, this is Paul and welcome to Growing Amaryllis Indoors in New England all winter long. Summering the bulbs outdoors in the garden. I've got this new bulb coming out and check out the process how I brought this bulb back to life after all the leaves had died off and signs of red blotch which is a fungus. You can see here infiltrating the bulb. I also had fungus gnats with these bulbs. Check out my previous video on how to eradicate those with hydrogen peroxide. Now here you can see I'm putting the bulb in a hydrogen peroxide water solution bath of about 50-50% each while it bubbles. That bubbling action, what's happening there is that the peroxide is actually killing that fungus. And when that bubbling action ceases, that's when you know the peroxide has done its job has gotten up into that bulb where that fungus, that nasty, horrible fungus is infiltrating. And then I repotted this plant here back in the soil about a month ago now. And occasionally I spritz it with hydrogen peroxide water mixture right in here. This beautiful bulb here has also made a full recovery with new growth from the hydrogen peroxide water solution including sometimes I bathe the back because the red blotch will grow on the leaves as well. After I water, I go around and I just hit this with the hydrogen peroxide water solution around the top of the plant just as a maintenance thing. I also am propagating a couple babies that I took off one of these bulbs that was really taking a lot of energy from the mother plant. And after removing the babies carefully, see this footage here, I did some root surgery, chopping away the excess roots. And here we are in March, and with the dearth of light that I have here, not much light here in my apartment window facing east, but as the angle of the sun's getting bigger, these plants are looking a little bit better. They did not bloom in time for Christmas or the holidays, but I'm very happy that I've got growth here. What's cool about having an indoor amaryllis farm is that throughout the year, this is my goal, is that these things will bloom, will shoot up flower stalks at different periods throughout the year. Subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting a video, updated video, when this blooms very shortly. And I really look forward to having hundreds and thousands of each and every one of you subscribing because you are indoor gardeners and you love growing amaryllis, indoors or out. But especially if you live in New England or in cold northern climates growing tropical indoor plants that are native to South Africa is very rewarding. And of course, you've got to have a nice fern in your living environment because, you know, ferns are just great for cleaning indoor air. And this is a beautiful rescue plant that I brought back to life from being in a snowbank one winter. I did a video about that. Check out all of my botany videos, indoor horticulture. Thanks for watching, everybody.